Hello, everyone. I'm Rhiannon Fish, and I am joined by my glorious co-star, James O'Halloran. Welcome. Hello, Rhiannon. It's so good to see you, and good day, everybody. Are you Australian, James? I am Australian, yes. <laughs> you wouldn't know when you watch the movie. Your accent is chef's kisses. Oh, that's so sweet of you to say. It was such an incredible thing, wasn't it, being able to be in Australia to film this thing? A hundred percent. Yeah. And uh, we are so excited for you to see our new movie, When Love Springs, part of Spring Into Love. We actually have a couple questions that the Hallmark Channel has sent our way that we will be answering. Let's get started. Let's do it. In When Love Springs, <laughs> uh, my character Rory plans a trip to celebrate her parents' anniversary at a bed and breakfast owned by Noah. Can we share more about our character's meet cute? Mm. Would you like me to start with this? Yeah. Okay, I like our meet cute because I get to dance. Um, <laughs> and I'm a terrible dancer, but what was so great about this is so is the character. So it's <laughs> be me. Um, and uh, yeah, I thought it was a, I thought it was a lot of fun and you just come in like a whirlwind and, and yep. up in yeah, my whole life. It has like this kind of bull in a china shop thing, which I felt when I watched it, like Rory comes in to this beautiful, very sweet, quaint bed and breakfast and just kind of bulldozes right through everything. And just doesn't um, stop. You're like doesn't a hurricane. stop. It's like, because we both recently watched the film and I know it was like one thing after another. It's like, how many times can this girl make a mess and yeah. manage to, but there is still that beautiful connection uh, that happens very early on, which I think is is very sweet. I think so. And you can see it. And it's that you are like a hurricane, but it's this magical hurricane that when Aww. everything just settles, it's it's better. Yeah. It's so amazing. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. A magical hurricane. Yeah. That, that's you. <laughs> okay. So during Rory's stay at the B&B, she asked Noah to be her pretend boyfriend uh, when she runs into her ex and his new girlfriend. So without giving away any spoilers, what do we love most about this storyline? I think it's super fun. It, mm. gave, it reminded me of um, movies like um, How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days or The Proposal, which is sort of like a storyline that I always find really fun um, because the audience is in on the the joke, so to yeah. speak. Um, yeah. They know what's going on, but yet the characters sort of don't. And I think that that's a really fun space to sort of play in. I think it creates a lot of comedy, which I know when we were filming it, it felt funny. So I was really glad to when I finally watched it, I was like, oh, I think there are points in here that are quite humorous that I, I absolutely very much enjoyed filming. And then I think the audience is going to like those parts too. Yeah, I couldn't agree with you more. And I think, like, it, as you say, it's like the, um, it reminds me of the parable, like the uh, old lady who swallowed a fly and then swallowed a spider. It's like the audience is watching going, no, 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 that, don't do that. It's going to make it worse. I know, and exactly. I'm doing it, piling it on yeah. and piling it on. And, yeah, and, uh, yeah, I think it's perfect. I think so, yeah. In exchange for helping Rory with an old flame, she agrees to use her PR skills to help Noah rebrand his B and B. How does the working together grow their relationship? Mm. So, this guy Noah it has created his little world, and it's, he's got walls all around him, and nobody's allowed in, and it's like Im imploding on him, but it's safe. Yeah. And through this process of them working together, he has to allow Rory into his world, which is just like he and and she gets him and i think that's like his fear is that she won't understand she'll yeah. want to change things she wants he thinks the world is different to what he is and then he just finds this person who happens to just understand everything about him yeah. and love him the way he is and and just know how to help him perfectly yeah, it's kind of like a beautiful example of how i i think that it's really easy to sort of how you grow to like people in real life is when you let those walls down and Noah yes. is so guarded, but like the moment he starts telling Rory those beautiful stories about like his, particularly the one that I adore is the one about Noah's grandmother. When he tells that story, I know when I heard you tell that story, this is a little secret sneak peek, is that that's actually a story from your life that that's we not. added into the movie. And I know when you told the story, you told it to Joanne, the director, and myself, and both of us were like, oh, my gosh, just like melted our hearts. And I know that Rory felt the same when you hear, particularly like a man that is very guarded and sort of 
almost a little cold when you hear him open up and tell such like a soft, gentle story about his upbringing. It's just, it's very easy to fall in love. That was, uh, that's so sweet of you to say. And so nice. Like, like you were, you and Joanna were so generous in that when, when I tell the story and and to allow it to be part of the, the thing, but yeah, it's, it's really special and, and quite, you know, personal. And I think that's, you know, it's just really nice to be able to share that and have it so well received. So thank you. You're welcome, James. Thank you. Noah wants his family business to thrive, but he's stuck. And Rory struggles with her work-life balance as she's determined to make partner at a PR firm. So how are our characters able to help each other to overcome their own obstacles? I think it's sort of, they are, they kind of call each other out. Um, I know that Noah was really good at doing that for Rory. Um, there's a moment where we're walking through those gorgeous botanical gardens and he's sort of pressuring her and asking questions like, so how long have you been a junior at this firm? What are you sort of doing? And Rory immediately, then her wall goes up and she's like, no, no, this is what I'm doing. This is my plan. I have to stick to it. But sometimes it takes like an outsider to kind of call you out and be like, what are you doing? Like, look at how sort of wonderful you are. I know that Noah kind of saw potential in Rory and that that potential was sort of being wasted. So it was wonderful to have Noah just call her out and say, hey, like, look, look at how great you are and look at your potential and um, what you could possibly be. So I think that he was really wonderful in helping Rory see what she really wants and who she really is. Yeah, I think that's so true. Uh, it's there these two people who have uh, flaws that are so obvious to each other, but not to themselves. And they're just able to offer that, um, that mirror and, and yeah, ex exactly as you say, to call each other out and, um, yeah, yeah help, help each other get through it. Absolutely agreed. Uh, there are so many fun moments between Rory and Noah as they fix up the B&B and team up on her parents' vow renewal ceremony. How was it to work with each other? Uh, yeah. <laughs> 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 my face keeps sounding like, no, <laughs> uh, this was just an absolute um, dream. Like from the, from the moment we got to sit down and, and like read through this script, um, I felt like an immediate connection to you. And uh, it was just like, oh, this is going to be easy because it's important that yeah. these characters like each other. And yeah. it was like, for me, immediately, I was like, we got that part covered there. Absolutely. Uh, I have to say, yeah, and I agree completely. I very sincerely just enjoyed spending time with you. And it's crazy because you do have to spend so much time together on these movies and you have to make a connection very believable very quickly. But I do feel like um, we found that we became very good friends very quickly. I just very much enjoyed my time with you. And also you cared about this project, which is always something that I think is so wonderful um, to work with somebody that was very invested in it, I think was just such an absolute privilege. I loved working with you. Oh, thank you. You were just uh, an absolute dream to work with, and um, and and also you're just ex experience in this in this genre, and just uh, as an actor in general, um, just so generous and open, and uh, yeah, I, it was um, an absolute pleasure. Thank you, James. Right back at you. <laughs> Noah's a talented chef, and even teaches Rory a recipe or two without giving away any spoilers. Uh, do we each have a favorite scene? I thought a lot about this question. Mm. This was a hard shoot. Like every time I thought of a scene, I was like, that was hard because of this, this, and this. It was also yeah. so hot when we filmed this movie. We shot oh, yeah. it at like Christmas time, essentially in Australia, in Brisbane, yeah. Australia. Uh -huh. It was so hot. So that was like the biggest thing we were fighting against with every single scene we did. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but I think with even that in mind, I think my favorite stuff to shoot I liked when we made the sandwiches. Speaking of you being a chef, I had a really great time that day. That was really fun. I have a lot of um, sort of dietary needs and restrictions. I just have a lot of issues. Um, so they made the sandwiches so that I could eat them. So it was all my favorite ingredients. And I had a lot of fun eating those sandwiches. I absolutely did too. That was, And I think that scene comes out really it well. Does. There's yeah. all this extra footage of us just like yeah. goofing around and having fun. And it, it was yeah. just like a really fun uh, little thing to shoot. And and your sandwiches, I was so skeptical when you're like, I, 
Like <laughs> <Blue laughs> <free> bread. <laughs> I was like, uh, okay, I'm gonna have to pull out some acting to make these uh, sandwiches seem good. And then I ate them and I was like, actually, that's pretty good. Well yeah, it's good. <laughs> It was good, and both of us were eating those chips like in between takes. Yeah. People they were like, were, eat the props." <laughs> they were your special special selection. Special chips, yeah. They were, uh, yeah, good find, good find. Yeah, absolutely. Um, there are so many beautiful locations um, as Noah shows Rory around Lily Lake. Can we share any behind the scenes stories? Hmm. hmm. There's, there, there really are a lot of beautiful locations, especially that lake in uh, Brisbane there. Yeah. I, I remember reading the script going like, okay, we'll use some special trick photography here. Yeah. And stuff to make. But when we got there, I was like, oh, no, this is the place. It's, it's yeah. here. It's, and it it's cool. beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Uh, behind the scenes stuff. Um, I, my, fa my favourite part of any of these rubies is, is da the dancing. And especially the last scene where everybody's uh, dancing yeah. and um, and there's no music, nothing. Yeah. <laughs> so they're just miming, and it's like yeah. it's it's just hilarious. But like that, like we had such a great cast and yeah, a great crew that they all were having so much fun with it, and um, and they just they like just yeah made it so much fun and fun to watch and fun to be Absolutely. part of. Absolutely. Yeah. Can I share behind the scenes about you, and you can say <laughs> if you don't want it. Yeah, 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 of course. It's to do with how hot it was, is that there were times, and I'm telling you, I was hot, and I generally am always, like, I will take heat over cold any day, but they've got yeah. James in these, like, long sleeve shirts and, like, a sweater over top, so there were some times in between takes where James would have to step aside and they would have to, like, use a blow dryer just to dry oh, Sometimes, <laughs> like, all the time. <laughs> Be like, where's James? Oh, he's he's getting blow dried. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. I like it's like a tap for me. I the, as soon as the sweat starts, it's like it's this is tap on, folks, and I don't have an off switch. So, <laughs> and another behind the scenes thing about you, I thought of is I have never worked with another actor who has as many bobby pins in their hair <laughs> as you do, like females included. James is so blessed with the like most beautiful, luscious, thick hair I've ever seen on another human. But it makes like hair and makeup's job a little bit of a nightmare because it sort of has a life of its own. It's a star. It's in the movie. It wants to be seen. So the number of bobby pins in your hair was unreal. Oh. Jen was a, a miracle worker because I, I kept on telling her at the start of the day, like you can see right now my hair's like being brushed and this is how it will stay until it moves and then it's got a life of its own. And I tell her this. I go, listen, I don't know as the day goes on, this is going to get crazier and crazier. And she's just there going, it's fine. It's like bobby pins. Yeah. And I'm expecting to be like, all right, we're going to see some bobby pins in this. But it actually, she you might. You don't see any. Yeah, so shout out to anyone. Like, please yeah. tweet us. If you see a bobby pin, let us know. Because there were at <laughs> least 80. <laughs> <laughs> okay. If we had the opportunity to step into our character's shoes and stay at a bed and breakfast, what's each of our must-have amenities that we'd want the inn to have? You know, I think that's actually a beautiful thing about this story is that it sort of talks about how when you go away, maybe that is the time to perhaps turn the TV off, like put your phone away and actually connect with the people that you're with. Mm -hmm. um, it's so easy to get caught up in the sort of rat race of the whole world. But and that's what your day to day life absolutely is. We're all you know, victim to that, so to speak. But when you go away, like, I think that is the time to enjoy the lake, enjoy each other and really just take a step back. Cause you know, that's where the really beautiful things happen where you can really connect with other people. It's so true. I find that with my own social media where yeah. I go, all right, I'm having a moment. There's this little voice that goes, I got to share this. It's so yeah. good. And then it's like, no, 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 no. Just, stop and enjoy this and maybe you won't have photos but you'll have been there and you'll have enjoyed it in the moment absolutely yeah i will oh. say if i were to pick an amenity i yeah. do love a water slide all day every day if any place has yeah. a slide, give me some pointers on where i can find a bnb with a water slide because yeah. that sounds incredible <laughs> I've got I've got one more thing uh, to add to that. Um, there's a B and B that I stayed in. There's a little town about two hours north of Los Angeles here called Ballard, and it's like just a tiny town. There's a few houses, um, 
and there is an inn there that um, they have like a turn down service at a certain time they they turn the sheep down and they leave warm cookies and milk on uh, next to the bed and that was about five years ago that I went there but I think I I think about those cookies probably every two weeks oh, isn't that so sweet it's so simple and- such like a little thing it's not about like having anything extravagant which is Noah's whole journey throughout this whole movie is learning that it's like the little things that make something so special it really is yeah yeah cute okay we made it to the rapid fire okay to wrap up our live chat we have our own rapid fire game of this or that inspired by when love springs and part of spring into love we can each answer these questions Okay. okay Black coffee or cappuccino? Cappuccino. Cappuccino, me too. But it has to be strong. You don't want too much milk. You're Australian. Yeah, you you have an acquired taste for coffee. Tiny I don't. Lots, lots of coffee. <laughs> <Tiny milk. laughs> okay, go on a day date or an evening date? Evening. Uh, evening. I was going to say day. There's more options during the day. You go... The sun's out. You can do anything you do it in the evening. And then, hey, you can be in bed nice and early. <laughs> I'm such an old man for that. Yeah. <laughs> um, start new traditions or celebrate old traditions? Uh, start them new, I think. Yeah. Well, I mean, you have such a beautiful family that I think that that's such an exciting time to start new traditions with each other. Yeah. I, and I think it's it's good. If it if it's good, it'll stick. You're not going to... Yeah. 100%. You know, you to try to revive it. I like, and maybe it's because I don't have a family yet, but I like the old tradition still. Like my my, um, my dad reads us um, the night before Christmas, still to this day, every Christmas. And then I hope that that's something that then I pass on to my children. Yeah, that's that's such an incredible thing. Um, and it, so that, yeah, that's okay. I, but, but that was a new tradition once, I guess. Exactly, so, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> um, cook at home or eat at a restaurant. I mean, no cleaning up. You got to go to a restaurant. Hundred percent, mate. Yeah, I'm down. Or like takeaway, where they, you know, deliver it. That's yeah, also exactly. Good. I feel like if someone came and cleaned up afterwards, I'd be happy to cook. But that's the cleaning. God, <laughs> that's my favorite part. I love the cleaning. Oh, we should uh, have a dinner party. <laughs> <laughs> Swim in a lake or a pool. Lake, for sure. Or what about if for you we add an ocean pool lake? Ooh. Oh, yeah, ocean. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I don't what like swimming you? at all. I'd rather no. stay on land. Despite my last name, I'm good. I don't want to go in the water. <laughs> well, unless there's a slide. <laughs> okay. It's like an ironic last name. Yeah. But so would you pr- prefer to sit poolside or sit on a beach with the sand? I don't like the sand. I'm, like, really not that fun time to have around. I just, like, to be not sandy. I don't really want to be in the water. Like I said, unless there's a slide. That's the one exception I'll make. I bought a slide. I like I like that you, you know. Love it. <laughs> All I watch on TikTok, like, water slides. Wow. I'm going to get some notes from you about the best water slides to go to then. <laughs> I'll, uh, okay, I'll text you after this. <laughs> Pick flowers or play a game of croquet. I'm competitive. I'm always going to go Same. for the game. <laughs> Same. Yeah, I love a competition. I've never mm-hmm. played croquet. Have you? I don't think not properly. I've played around with like the hammer thing. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, no, I've not played properly. But 100%. You know, so I, love that I figure it's a bit like lawn bowls or something like that. And there's a lot of I those old games that are surprisingly fun. You give them it and you're like, oh, yeah, this, why love don't this. anymore. Yeah. 100%. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. We can't wait for you to watch the premiere of our new movie, When Love Springs. That's right. Tune in this Saturday, May 6th at 8 slash 7 central, only on Hallmark Channel. And you can tweet along with us using the hashtag When Love Springs. I'll be there on Twitter. James, you going to come too? I know I'm going to be there too. I can't wait. Okay. Thank you. Bye, everybody.